day, a late buck here, Western Washington, uh, November 16th, I think it is. Got a late start this morning. Left the house super early, four o'clock, but uh, the loggers had one of the main lines closed, so had to take a big detour to get around. I just crossed the river. Hiking in, I got about five miles to go to get to where I want to be to glass, so I'm gonna miss the morning glass, which sucks, but is what it is. I got a couple days of food in my pack and the seek outside Eolus, so probably gonna stay back here for a few days and uh, see if we can find a couple bucks. I know there's some deer back here. Uh, Joseph with uh, Way Out West saw a pretty good two point in here last weekend and then uh, last year we saw a couple bucks back here as well during late buck, so I'm gonna go check it out again. See if we can find them. Uh, looking for a looking for a decent two point or bigger. So fingers crossed we can find one. All right, guys, just kind of a quick update. About four miles in. It's like 9:30 in the morning. I've got like another mile or so to go to get to my first kind of glassing point. I have glassed a little bit on my way in, but I haven't seen a lot of deer um, in that first stretch, so I don't really waste much time in there. I'm just kind of bombing it back to this drainage that I know has some deer in it. So probably got like another 30 minutes of hiking or so, and then uh, get this pack off. Probably make some coffee and uh, just start glass and see if we can find a buck. Alright guys, I sat there and glassed for like an hour, it's like the middle of the day now, 11, 11.30ish, um, and it's been cold and really clear the last couple days, so I'm sure the deer are mostly bedded right now. Um, just dropping down this little ridge here, hit this old spur, and go look into some new stuff. Hopefully I can uh, catch something on the move middle of the day. The bucks should be rutting for sure this late into November, so just got to poke my head into the right drainage that's got a hot dough and we should be able to find a buck, so just going to kind of bounce around, glass an area for an hour or so, maybe two hours, and then move and glass in other areas. Just kind of keep moving until we find some deer. I got a all day today and all day tomorrow to try to uh, get it done in here. And if that doesn't work out, then I'll uh, probably move areas and hunt all day Saturday, and then that'll be a wrap for me. So, got three days to get it done. Let's see what we can find. Guys, that pretty much brings uh, day one to an end. It's too dark to glass. Uh, picked up a doe at like 700 yards about an hour ago and just uh, kind of kept my eyes on her, but was hoping maybe a buck was bedded with her and would get up. It's still possible that he is, but he didn't show himself if he's there. So pretty slow day. Only saw two deer, no elk, which is crazy for this spot. I usually see elk in here almost every time I'm in here, but I think it's just clear, clear all night. So probably up feeding most of the night and then tucked away most of the day. So anyway, headed back to the uh, seek outside the Eolus. I'm not sure exactly how you say that, but close enough. I'm gonna sleep on the mountain tonight. Uh, glass for the first couple hours in the morning. See if I can find something. If not, I'm gonna regroup and move areas. So, fingers crossed we can find something in the morning.
morning, guys. It's uh, just before 7 o'clock, morning of my second day in here now. Um, long nights, it's dark at 5, that's for sure. But we weren't in here for the morning glass yesterday because of the little fiasco I had in the morning with the loggers and the main line being closed. So hoping to turn up uh, some deer first thing this morning. It's just getting light enough to see a few hundred yards, so I got, I mean, I'm camped not far from where I'm glassing, like three, four hundred yards, so just got a few minutes to walk over there, get on this ridge, and see if we can find something this morning. All right, guys, sorry for all the boring uh, midday updates, but just loaded up, it's like 10.30. No, no deer at all over there, it lasts for like three and a half hours. I'm gonna pack up my camp, I'm almost back to it, and uh, I'm gonna make a big seven mile loop um, before it gets dark, back to my truck, and see if I can pick up some animals and some of these other cuts on the way back, so gonna go to some areas where I've seen some deer before and recently and see if we can just we need to find a hot doe or find a butt cruise and looking for a doe um, this weather is just freaking killing me so anyway that's the update about back to my camp load up real quick and start hiking I'm making the loop and I'm sitting in uh, what looks like a pretty good area. This area is all walking and I'm like five or six miles from my truck still at this point. There's a bunch of reprod uh, dog hair on my right, a little clear cut kind of on one face and then a bunch of stands of timber in the bottom. So I would expect that there's some deer definitely living in this cut. It's off the beaten path a ways too on this, this little side spur road I'm kind of sitting on right here. So probably gonna give this an hour or two. It's like one o'clock and uh, see if something will come out of this thick stuff before dark to kind of stretch its legs and, and get some sun. So fingers crossed we can uh, turn up a buck. It's been an extremely slow couple days so far. So buck's gotta change at some point doesn't it? We'll see. Well, it's 4.30. It's going to be dark in 30 minutes at the most. Finally found some animals within this last two hours, but all uh, does and cows. So I got three, a little over three miles to get back to my truck. Um, I got a lot of country to glass on my way out of here. So I'm just gonna kind of work my way through here and glass this stuff that I can see pretty good. And, Hope I can uh, turn up a buck in the next 30 minutes or so. Hopefully sooner than that, because I gotta get set up and shoot. So probably really only got about 20 minutes to find something. Fingers crossed. See what happens. All right, guys. It's morning of a uh, Sunday, last day of late buck. Joseph and I. Uh, hooked up for this final day, hoping we can double up. Much better weather for blacktail. Uh, first two days of this late season were cold, dry, and sunny. Didn't see much action, so we got the weather today. Hoping we can find some deer moving, and uh, we both got tagged, so either double up or hopefully put one buck on the ground. We'll see. It's just getting light. We're gonna walk this road and last this cut here shortly, so. Fingers crossed we can put one down.
All right, guys, kind of a mid-morning update. It's like 9.30. We've seen uh, one doe so far. I've just kind of been bouncing around, trying to get away from the fog. Uh, things have started to clear up. Looks like the sun might pop out a little bit later on. We've got a really good view right here. Glass in that whole face over there. And some of this stuff off to my right is pretty good too, so. Got timber in the bottom, patches of reprod and dog hair, so there's definitely some deer in here. Probably gonna sit here for a while and just pick this apart and see if we can't find one. Well, that brings 2023 late buck to an end. Uh, put more effort into this four day season this year than I have in a couple years. Hunted pretty much three full days out of the four that you can hunt. Just uh, wasn't meant to be. That's how it goes sometimes. You don't always fill your tag. So we're hiking out. Uh, legal shooting light ends in about 10 minutes or less. So that's a wrap. Hopefully uh, you guys had a little bit more luck than we did on your late buck hunt. Catch you on the next one.